Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Very general. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there watching. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Just take what resonates and leave what does not, okay? Um, I think that's it. So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. I'm just going to say drill quick and we will jump right in Virgo. So, Virgo, let's see what you need to know. Current energies for November 2021, Virgo. All right, let's take a look. <clears throat> Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of you could be going with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone may be trying to offer you love or vice versa. I'm getting very strong Pisces. Um, Pisces energy here. Someone here may have one foot in, one foot out. There may be a lack of trust here as well. Uh, Virgo. One of you may have options or there's an energy here of kind of going back and forth. Maybe because you don't trust this person. Some of you may have met this person through work. I feel like that's going to be specifically for those of you dealing with the Pisces. Maybe. Um, divine timing is here. So... You definitely met this person when you were supposed to meet this person. I'm just going to adjust my mic real quick. Okay, so you definitely met this person when you were supposed to meet them. Um, a divinely guided connection here. There is potential, uh, but someone here may be rejecting the offer, turning it down. All right, so let's see. Virgo. Please show me the current energies. For Virgo, November 2021, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo. Please show me the current energies. Okay, so yeah, there definitely is something new showing up here. <laughs> you guys may ghost someone or someone may ghost you um, in your current energy. So interesting. There's some sort of communication or excitement here um, with this person. And then it's like, boom, there's some sort of ghosting happening or a lack of closure in a situation. So let's see. Recent past for Virgo. You could be very focused on your money, on your finances right now. Um, there is a sense of waiting. So either someone was waiting for you to return or you could be waiting for someone else to return here in your recent past but you're you're thinking about like money over love okay in your recent past that's the energy money could have been affecting your love life so let's take it's interesting your cards are coming on too <laughs> immediate future okay so this could be a friendship that turns into something more someone here is hiding their feelings in the immediate future there is some sort of celebration, could be a reconciliation here. For some of you, there may be a reconciliation with someone you were married to or in a long-term commitment, maybe someone you lived with, because I am seeing that as well. Okay, what's challenging you? The Hierophant, a commitment. Could be a Taurus as well, but I feel like you may be healing from something. And what's challenging this situation is um, there's a lot of internal conflict surrounding a commitment. Could be... Um, some healing needing to happen surrounding a karmic partner, someone from the past, okay? But uh, there's definitely some hesitation here. What's on your mind, Virgo? What's on your mind? Completing a cycle. So wrapping something up, um, something coming full cycle here. Maybe creating a new path or going towards something new is what you're thinking about. Yeah, but you're undecided when it comes to having this new beginning, be dealing with an Aquarius, but you don't have to be. But I'm getting more so than anything, it's because there's some healing that still needs to happen with the star here, especially in this undecided um, energy. There's a lot of factors that are not set in stone here. It's kind of like everything may be up in the air involving a newer connection, okay? So let's see, um, why is all of this happening? Six of Swords. Because there's an energy here of wanting to move to calmer waters, wanting to move on to something new, wanting to move on to better times ahead. But again, here comes that hesitation, okay, with the Six of Swords here in your, um, the base of your reading, okay, it's the root of your reading. So 
you guys are moving on from something that's for sure but again i'm just get i'm feeling a lot of hesitation how are you showing up in this virgo the hanged man you may still feel stuck to something from the past okay could be a fire sign leo sag aries could be one with the pisces as well but you guys um you're showing up as maybe you have some sort of new perspective on love or um you had some sort of enlightenment it's like i'm hearing like really slow so you guys may be trying to move something forward really slow yeah long wait so it's going to be a slow process some of you may be putting your love life on hold okay whatever the situation is it's like you feel like it's going to take a while Okay. Outside influences, eight of swords. Someone here is really in their head, um, feeling trapped. We'll clarify these hopes and fears page of pentacles. It's like you guys want to avoid conflict at all costs is what I'm getting. So some of you may just keep this person as a friend or like a friends with benefits situation. Um, because you're not wanting to deal with conflict here you fear not that you fear conflict but it's like you just don't want to deal with it a lot of you are in the space of really focusing on a sense of stability and that comes first okay there's a lot of waiting energy and slow moving energy and i feel like that's your guys's but again swap the rules if you need to take it how it resonates uh what's in the outcome november 2021 some of you may be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's the overall energy. Let's take a look here. Yeah, someone here may be getting iced out. There's a lot of mixed signals going on. I'm trying to figure out more information when it comes to what's going on here. Um, spying, asking around, um, just trying to figure things out. Whoever's getting the mixed messages, mixed signals, is really trying to figure this out. Like, where is this going? Okay, King of Swords. Someone here is coming off very emotionally detached. Um yeah needing trying to gain some sort of clarity mental clarity surrounding the situation okay so let's start clarifying i definitely feel like someone is holding back big time here holding back on opening up or offering some sort of emotion okay could be an age difference between the two of you as well i'm getting i just saw the page of cups and again it could be pisces so let's see king of swords overall let's take a look yeah someone here um this person could have came in very unexpected with the tower it could be a scorpio lots of water uh energy here yeah but there's a lot of overthinking going on or this person that's showing up in this king of swords energy is really thinking a lot trying to avoid some sort of disaster could have happened very unexpectedly or this person you may be you may be just getting over some sort of tower moment that's something that was very toxic for a lot of you it could be a karmic uh, partnership or a very codependent relationship okay and overall you're trying to be emotionally detached because you're still healing from that tower moment something falling apart in your recent past you're focusing on your money Okay, so let's see, focusing on your money, focusing on your career, sense of stability. Yeah, you're very withdrawn, showing up in your own energy. Some of you could definitely be dealing with another Virgo. But in your recent past, you're showing up as the hermit. So you're doing some soul searching. You're going within, trying to figure, figure some things out. Okay. Currently, you may have ghosted someone, Virgo. Or you feel like there is no closure in a situation here. Okay, so let's see current energy for virgo you could have been dealing with somebody who's very manipulative all right um but there's a missed opportunity here in your current energy regrets of the past sorrow um thinking a lot about a breakup that that happened here could have been somebody that you lived with again or that you were married to some sort of um some sort of enlightenment happened here okay that made you reevaluate some things and that may be why you're hesitant in a commitment. So why is the blockage the Hierophant, the High Priestess? You're following your intuition when it comes to moving things forward or not moving things forward. It's like there's a blockage here. Someone's really stuck in their head surrounding moving things forward. Okay. And that's also very quick moving energy. So it's like wanting to take things slow is what I'm getting. So the reason for it all is like you're ready to move on, but I'm getting again like slow and steady wins the race so you know there's better times to come yeah but a lot of you are focusing on yourself it's like why do 
why did somebody come in <laughs> at the wrong time, right? So it could be, you may feel like this is wrong timing for you because right now you're in a space of healing and really focusing on yourself, self-love, self-care, nurturing and loving on yourself. Some of you could be mothers um, or fathers, single, single parents as well. This is a very nurturing energy, okay? So on your mind is thinking about completing a cycle. Yeah, five of swords. There could have been a lot of mental conflict surrounding this, though. And for a lot of you, it is a marriage, okay? Um, some of you may have a lot of mental conflict surrounding, like a court case or something turning out in your favor as well. It could be uh, child care, custody, something like that is what I'm getting. And just completing a cycle here, okay? Immediate future. You do have a friendship that turns into love, some sort of commitment coming in. What is this? three of wands, but there's an energy here of waiting for this new beginning. Some of you may be waiting for a separation to be finalized before taking action towards something new. Okay. But again, there's some healing still happening in your near future before you take a risk on something new and move towards this connection. Okay. It could be done with an Aquarius, but you don't have to be. The hangman, the emperor. Some of you still feel stuck to this person from your past. Okay. Because you have the empress and the emperor, divine masculine, divine feminine, and you guys are, you guys could feel stuck to that energy, okay? Some of you are really trying to get your power back, okay? That's showing up here as well. And you guys are definitely showing up as rejecting offers coming at you. Like, you're just not interested right now. Eight of Swords. Yeah, outside influences was the Eight of Swords and you had the Five of Pentacles show up here. Knight of Wands in reverse. So you guys decided to stop pursuing something here in in your outside influences, or someone did. Someone got ghosted, left out in the cold here, and it's causing a lot of mental confusion. Hopes and fears. You want to keep this person as a friend, though. There's a lot of mental conflict surrounding that. Kind of going back and forth, indecisive. Some of you may be getting good news surrounding your career. Um, and there's some sort of transformation happening. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. What is this death? Things are definitely moving in your favor. When it comes to money and career uh, finances, it looks like you guys have some sort of shift happening and things are definitely moving in your favor. You may receive some sort of communication in regards to that. And that's what I'm getting. Some of you are just really focused on your money, Virgo. And it's like all this other stuff can be, can wait because I'm focused on my my own right now. Outcome. Okay, more Piscean energy, the hangman. So some sort of enlightenment. Someone someone has some sort of enlightenment here. Um, okay, could be dealing with the Capricorn. Six of Swords. Someone's deciding to move on here. Yeah, four of Pentacles, because one of you is holding back in this situation. So someone's moving forward. The Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like there's definitely an energy here of moving away from something. Yeah. And going towards something completely new. Making that final call here. And again, I'm getting the same energy. Like you guys are really focused on your money, your career. And in that area of your life, it looks like things are really picking up for you and moving forward in a very positive way. So you may leave someone out in the cold uh, and focus on that. It may cause some conflict, some turbulence here for you. But yeah, I definitely feel like in your near in your near future, you're just focusing on a sense of stability. But um, clarifying, which means further down the line, you do have something new, new love coming in for you. Could meet somebody through work, okay? Um, but I do see that here for you. So let's see uh, what this person wants to say to you, Virgo. Virgo, what does this person want to say to, I wish things could be different. I'm hearing military. Some of you may be dealing with someone in the military or that could be um, someone's story here. Okay. I love you. I wish things could be different is showing up. Also, for some of you, the career could be um, a blockage here. Okay. I'm getting that as well. You and I were too young. I am not available. I know that I crossed the line with you. We need to let each other go. 
Interesting. Okay, so um, let's pull some romance angel cards here. I feel like someone is definitely trying to manifest you, Virgo. Someone's thinking a lot about you and your connection. Okay. What can you tell me for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Virgo. Yeah, there's an energy here of really needing to decide what it is that you want. And for some of you, it's the fact that you want to put yourself first. Self-love. I'm getting that really strong here for those of you I'm reading for. Yeah, separation is necessary. Someone here is definitely separating from something and releasing the past. Healing from something. Taking your power back. Clearing out your energy here. Trying to remain positive. Yeah, there could have been a lot of differences between you and someone. Or there could be a lot of differences between you and a person. Um, but trying to have faith and remain positive here is showing up as being really important and releasing something. So if some of you are questioning whether or not you should release something or if this is the right choice to make, Spirit's showing up saying that it is, that you do need to release this energy. You do need to clear it out, okay? So I do see, see look, and then again at the bottom of the deck, you guys do have something new coming in for you, okay? Um... So keep that in mind. Keep that in your back pocket. <laughs> That's what I have for you guys, Virgo. I hope that was helpful. I hope that brought you some clarity to your situation. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know. Like, share, subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.